All right, let's give you a rundown of the specs of this thing. This has the Intel i7-6700 CPU. Like I said, it's Skylake. This isn't the new Cabby Lake model that MSI released here a few months ago. Um, got the 16-gig version off of Amazon, equipped with a single SATA SSD, uh, not the M NVMe version, but a 512-gig SSD and more on the really strange partition configuration this came with in a little bit. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM, no optical drive obviously because this is the, the thin MSI thing. Um, otherwise uh, the same typical gaming laptop specs you would imagine these days. Uh, it does have, in case I didn't mention this, the NVIDIA 1060 Pascal uh, video card uh, which is really great for the video work that I do and also gaming obviously. So a pretty well equipped laptop overall. All right, give you a few more specifics on the hardware here because I have a lot of people ask me specifically about the screen. Yes, there is a 4K version of this laptop. I don't have that one. I have the 1920 by 1080 IPS screen. As you can see in the hardware ID, it's an LG screen. I actually like it. I think the, the screen is pretty solid. It's a matte screen, easy on the eyes. Uh, as you can see, I've got the saturation uh, cranked up just a little bit. Uh, but overall, I really like the screen. Uh, that's, that's a positive for me, but again, your mileage is going to vary depending on what you want. Uh, there is the video card configuration uh, that comes with the integrated Intel card, which in this case is the 530, as if that matters. Uh, it's just basically the card you're going to use when you're not doing any heavy lifting like video or gaming. Uh, the NVIDIA card, which is awesome, the uh, GTX 1060. And, uh, I mean, that's pretty it as far as what I get asked about the most on these. One other thing I wanted to talk about, I've had people ask me why I didn't review this one quicker, uh, because it's been like a month, month and a half since I sent the ASUS back because of the throttling issues. Uh, I wanted to live with this laptop for a little while. I had kind of a honeymoon period with the ASUS laptop before I had the throttling problems, so I've had this one now three or four weeks, and I can give you a pretty good idea of some of the positives and negatives that I've come across as I've been using this thing. Overall, a really great machine, but but there is a really big caveat to that, uh, which I'll explain here in a little bit. Um, I didn't want this to be like a really cleaned up unboxing video where you see the thing coming out of the box because, you know, once you use this a little bit, it's going to fingerprint up, as you can see on the back of the chassis here. Uh, actually, this one has uh, has actually maintained its looks better than I was expecting. It uh, doesn't really show fingerprints that much. I think I maybe have wiped it down uh, one time. But overall, a, a really pleasant laptop to do with. As far as your I.O. goes on this laptop, some pretty interesting choices by MSI. Some good, some maybe not so good. Um, as you can see on this side of the laptop, uh, you've got your microphone and headphone inputs, which are separate, which is a positive. Uh, you've got two USB, actually, I'm sorry, three USB connections. You've got an SD card slot, which is nice because I still do photo work with SD cards, so that's a plus. Plus, the uh, Ethernet port on this side, which is nice when you uh, need to go wired. But it's this side of the GS63 VR that is a little bit different as far as why did you do this MSI? Um, again, you've got another USB port, you've got your HDMI out, which I never use, you've got Thunderbolt port, you got a display port, you got uh, the power connector there, which is a right angle power connector, by the way, so that's good. Uh, the thing that's actually kind of strange is they put the, the power on button right there on the front corner. I haven't actually accidentally turned the screen off, I think, maybe twice in the month that I've had it. But come on, MSI, why'd you do that? I, I have no idea. Uh, it really isn't a big minus as much as you might think, um, but it is something to consider if, you know, you get all handsy with the front of your laptop. This is the bottom of the GS63 VR, um, and actually you'll notice a couple of things. First of all, I gotta say, um, this thing still gets warm on your lap even though it's got this nice, comfortable cloth bottom. Uh, these vents do get hot when it's under load. If you're working on videos or gaming or whatever, uh, it is gonna get kinda toasty. Uh, so they have improved the heat situation, uh, but it's still there. And as you'll notice, I have not actually breached the chassis yet. Warranty sticker still intact. Thank you very much, MSI. Um, 
from what I understand, and this is not official, so if you've got to contact MSI to get the real word, but from what I understand, you can actually remove this sticker and get inside the machine. Um, I believe that MSI still honors the warranty in the U.S. as long as you don't damage anything while you're in there. Okay, this does have the Steel Series software as per usual with the uh, the GS models of the MSI uh, gaming line. I can change the different uh, different zones to whatever you want. You can do different gaming modes. I don't really mess around with that much. Uh, colors are nice and everything. I like the tactile uh, feedback of the keyboard. I find this really easy to type on, so that part is a definite plus. As far as my overall call on this laptop, I like it, but there is one big but. I completely threw out the install that MSI shipped this thing with. Now, again, if you do this, you're going to do it at your own risk because you got to know what you're doing as far as reinstalling operating systems, but I put a plain vanilla Windows 10 install on this, and since I've done that, this laptop has been stellar. I was getting all sorts of lagginess and unexplained high CPU usage when I had some of the MSI software on there, like Dragon Center and some of that stuff. Um, so I decided after a couple of weeks just to zonk the thing and go back to scratch with just a regular Windows 10 install. In fact, the only custom software I have on this is SteelSeries Engine. I went and got generic Realtek drivers from the Realtek website, not MSI. I got the NVIDIA drivers directly from NVIDIA. Um, and since I've done that, my experience has been great. And the thing I've noticed is now this does not do any kind of throttling. It's not laggy if you're trying to do videos or games. Um, when I was doing video rendering, I found that um, <laughs> it was taking 20 minutes to render a simple two and a half minute video, um, which was really annoying. But again, since I've, since I've reset everything, all is good. So my word to you would be this. If you're thinking about getting this MSI, and you can get a good deal on these Skylakes since the Cabby Lake versions are out now. Uh, these are like really cheap, especially if you buy them off of some of the forums, uh, or if you actually can find a good deal from a seller on Amazon. Um, the Skylake version of this is great. The NVIDIA 1060 video card is awesome. Love it. Having a great experience uh, with my video work and with games. But you really need to be willing and know what you're doing and do a regular Windows 10 install. Completely wipe the hard drive and start from scratch. Don't use the MSI burn recovery. I mean, that's my advice anyway. Um, although I did actually make an emergency MSI uh, thumb drive just in case. But my advice would be to just start from scratch. And in that case, and from what I've seen from other reviewers on Amazon, uh, if you do that, you're going to have a really great experience. Overall, I love this laptop. It's a keeper. This one's not going back. And uh, it's highly recommended for me. But again, you need to do your research and find out exactly what you're up against. And I think you'll be really happy with it um, if you actually take the time to do all these things.